What is going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap right on into your reading and see what you guys need to know. Archangel Michael and Allegra, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Let's clear all my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages surrounding my everything's energy. Let's see y'all what's about to unfold and what's to come. Okay. It's so crazy because I got whipped cream out here. Okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. I'm hearing this is the icing on a cake. All right. Something is the icing on a cake. Okay. The Page of Swords, all right? Oh, tower, all right? To the Queen of Cups, to the Seven of Pentacles. Y'all, something has put the icing on the cake where somebody is leaving. Somebody is no longer Seven of Pentacles, all right? Investing into wherever that they was investing into whether it was a relationship whether it was a job a career a friendship a group all right even family somebody is no longer investing their time their effort their energy their attention all right somebody feels somebody has you know evaluated okay something and it's causing a tower all right this is unexpected uncontrollable change that's happening um that is unfolding right now all right and it has everything to do with the queen of cups all right this is the type of queen of cups that is not in her feelings all right but it's in her bag all right this is a queen of cups that honors her emotions all right above all else all right she trusts her intuition all right and she knows how to emotionally act on, on how she feels, all right? She has discipline, all right? And she knows how to move, okay? So, somebody got something up their sleeve, all right? Somebody could be a little immature, all right? Somebody could be very immature with their words or how they act. Some is given like high school, all right? And they don't know that they done met a goddess, all right? They don't know that this queen of cups has no problem with clearing the air, all right? They don't, they don't know that this Queen of Cups has no problem with setting boundaries, all right, and teaching them, okay? She has no problem. It's like big mama here to a child, all right? It's like respect your elders. Woo! It's like respect your elders, all right? Or pipe down when you talk to me. Okay, I'm big mama, all right, you still got a lot to learn, page of swords. You still got a lot of growing up to do. Your mind is not as mature as mine, all right? Your penal gland haven't even developed, all right? I'm hearing you can't even piss straight, damn. I'm hearing that phrase, you can't even piss straight. And let alone trying to come up into a big dog or trying to come against, all right, or, or, or challenge a queen of cups. All right, so wow. All right, so this is looking like a little confrontation, all right, or somebody is being very messy, very immature, and it has caused a tower moment for them. Being immature, not knowing how to play your part, being messy, all right, has literally caused somebody to leave them. And this is causing a tower moment. <laughs> all right, because it's looking like whatever this Queen of Cups says goes. All right, so whoever this sneaky, very immature person is done caused a tower moment that they probably didn't even want. All right, because they was in their feelings. Okay, because they was in their feelings. See, the Queen of Cups don't have to talk too much to get her point across. All right, so she has mastered that. That's why she's the Queen of Cups. All right, so it's like, yeah. All right, you done checked something. You done, you done, you done expressed, you done spoke on something that was like, somebody was like, all right, 
All right. All right. It exposed somebody being very immature. Okay. And the tower has entered the chat. All right. This is also a lot of people watching. All right. Ooh, spirit, give me more on this page of swords. There's very immature energy. Yeah, texting. All right, texting. All right, it's looking like they texting this person, and this person is on to bigger and better things. Probably not even so much on you, but this person is, is evaluating their whole life right now. All right, they're evaluating their career, they're evaluating their purpose. They figuring out life. They, they're dealing with a whole different thing to, to be dealing with some immature texts. Okay? This is like somebody playing on somebody's phone and calling them blocked type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Or calling um, text free because somebody not answering them because they think that they with somebody else that's Queen of Cubs. All right? Very immature energy. And these texts are being rejected or avoided. All right, because somebody is worrying about life. <laughs> All right, somebody about to take, take off on that surfboard. All right, and ride the wave. All right, somebody is no longer entertaining messy behavior. All right, especially like black holes or like just very immature Texas. Very high school. Okay. All right, Spirit, give me more on this Queen of Cups. Please and thank you. Look, the queen of swords. Ooh. All right, so this is definitely a female that is in her immature energy. It's like she's a child, all right? The queen of swords to the page of swords. It's like, you could be my child. Like, who are you talking to? You know what I'm saying? So somebody could be um, grown or like whatever, but they're moving like a page, all right, because they in their feelings, you see? Ain't nothing sexy about this. Close that up, all right? <laughs> Cover yourself, okay? Cover yourself. So, um, yeah, they're, they're moving. They're in their feelings. They feel jealous. They feel no longer in control. The spotlight is not on them. Um, they don't understand why somebody is leaving. This is a towel moment, all right? They don't know why somebody is ignoring a Texas, all right? Ignoring this immature behavior. Somebody has no longer, somebody has no control, all right? No more. So the queen of swords to the king, queen of cups, it's like, <laughs> if looks could kill, all right, you probably would have been unalive, but hey, if they can't, <laughs> you hear me? It's like, what you want to do, okay? Them looks, sticks and stones can't break my bones. See, the queen of swords is a chap, like a talker. All right, sticks and stones can break, can't break my bones. Or wait, how to go? Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. <laughs> okay, somebody is um, bothered by how you are defending yourself. Somebody is bothered by how you standing up for yourself. Okay, somebody is, is a little bothered by you're not afraid of them. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. Somebody might be even trying to call you blocked. Okay. They already lost by doing that. Okay. Look. <gasps> the, the three of swords, they already lost. They feel like they lost. All right. They feel like a clown. When you don't feed, you know, tension. When you don't feed arguments, when you know what you got, when you know your words <laughs> hold value. All right. You starve them. You don't feed into it. All right, you check the situation and you move on. However, you are being called to handle the situation. But the way you handled it was P, okay? They're crying anger, blood, embarrassment, okay? Look, they feel like they back in third place, all right? It's like, wait your turn, okay? It's like you skipped the line. They back online, they back with the others, okay? They back with that group, all right? Of third party energy is what it's looking like, okay? So, um, 
yeah, the, this person that is no longer entertaining and investing into this energy, all right, they, it's over. All right, and they might, because it's over, because you are standing your ground as the Queen of Cups, remember, this is the Queen of Cups, so you know how to speak. You know how to handle situations intelligently. You know, mature, all right? You're not out here crashing out, all right? You're doing things right, all right? I'm getting a magician card, okay? I'm hearing you giving them what they want to see, <laughs> all right? You know, when you go searching, you will find, okay? You will find, all right? So, um, yeah, so now that they feel played, they feel embarrassed, they feel like somebody else calls the shot, somebody else is being focused on somebody else is being attended to. Um, they're moving immaturely, all right? Texas, calling private, um, acting out. You know what I'm saying? Very immature, toxic. All right, Spirit, give me more on this tower, please and thank you. She could even be calling him blocks. Yeah, the fool card. So this is a brand new beginning. So for, for, for a lot of you guys, you are blowing up. All right, this is your career, your lifestyle, your purpose. All right, the lane that you've chose, all right, has gone mainstream or will. All right, this is a brand new start in your career. This is a brand new start on your purpose. All right, where you're turning your back to everything and all things that is preventing you from moving forward. All right, any type of adversity that's trying to enter your life, you turning your back on is too clear in front of you. All right, to look in the rear view. Okay, so you, I'm hearing an ultimatum. All right, the Queen of Cups is not standing. Standing and, and continuing to, to express herself. So it's like, you handle that situation or <laughs> I'm going to continue to go ahead. You hear me? I'm going to continue to go ahead because there's a lot of things that's going on in my life that is taking off that I'm blowing up. All right? Spiritually. All right? You're handling things very, very divine feminine. You're, you're, you're making sure people respect your boundaries, whether it's with somebody or not. All right? And anything that is trying to cause an adversity in your life is behind you, all right? You turn your back to it, the fool card, all right? You will never play the fool for anyone, okay? Never play the fool. That, that can't be your role, all right? You would rather be the villain, the villain that caused the tower, okay? The villain that puts people in their place. We never was cool, divine feminine queen of cups. We was never cool playing the victim. That's what we learned as the Queen of Cups. That's what we learned as the Queen of Cups. To not always play the victim, to see things for what it is and take our power back and move accordingly. Okay? So, yeah. You have, you have taken on the villain in this situation. Caused that tower. All right? Your voice was heard. Your emotions was felt. All right? And honored. And back to business. Back to work. <laughs> okay? It's just somebody in their feelings. All right, spirit. Give me more honest, immature energy that's texting. You know, it's just Twitter fingers. You know, trying to get a response. Trying to get a reaction. All right? And being that they can't, they're doing it sneaky. Like, privately. Okay? Spirit, give me more honest, um, immature energy. And why are they acting out like this? The seven of cups? Because they are alone? All right, they've been probably watching somebody's social media. Um, but the choices, they, they, they're not making good choices. All right, they're kind of in a delusional state. All right, because they know that somebody is obsessed with a trophy, a trophy wife. All right, somebody is literally, this is, you are the addiction. The devil call is like an addiction. All right, it's obsession. All right, it's attachments. Okay, Spirit, give me more on this Queen of Cups, please and thank you. With this Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, they felt like their words will hold value. 
in somebody's life about you, maybe. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. He's coming straight to you. The Knight of Swords is acting on a situation. They are a fast actor. Yeah, look, the Page of Pentacles. Okay, they are acting on something. So I'm, I'm seeing like somebody is acting on a situation where somebody got out of hand and probably involved you or, or is trying to involve you. <laughs> but some, the Knight of Swords is speaking. It's like clearing the air. It's like, oh, I'm out of here. I don't got to argue with you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm out of here. I already know the truth. I already know where I need to go. I already know who I could trust. All right? And they are fast acting. So this, this is what's nipped in the bud. Spirit, give me more on this, um, this three of swords. This like, I'm um, feeling like a clown. Because somebody is no longer entertaining and investing time into them. Somebody has evaluated a situation. The four of wands. Somebody is stable. Somebody is also working on a career. Then somebody is also, it's like somebody has found they wish fulfillment. Literally. Somebody feels like they are giving this queen of cups whatever she wants and she deserves. The nine of cups to the queen of cups. She demands that. All right. Because the universe been her sugar daddy. So anybody that comes into her life, that's the expectation. All right? No drama. All right? The Queen of Cups don't even ask for much. She asks for respect, love, generosity, and reciprocity when it comes to affection and what she gave. So right now, it's somebody, it is, it is, it is exciting to somebody to be giving you the respect and honoring your emotions. All right? Somebody is happy there. All right. It is like um, it means the world to somebody to be at your command. Kind of like somebody is devastated because of that. Like they they found they wish fulfillment. Yeah. Look, the trophy wife. All right. Somebody not letting up on this queen of cups. All right. This queen of cups been through a lot emotionally. All right. She could teach you a lot. She's also like a therapist. For real. Like you could talk to this queen of cups about anything. All right. She's literally genuine. She's been through a lot. All right. Somebody not losing it. Somebody literally honors you. They feel like they put you on a pedestal. All right? Think about a trophy. A trophy has to do nothing but just stand there and be honored and, and valued. It's an achievement. All right? It's a level up. It's advancement. Okay? Expect advancement and wishes being fulfilled for y'all. All right? This is a, a huge success and rewards. Somebody is devastated because of that. Yeah, they're burning up the contract. This is a bold move. This page of wands, y'all... Um, they are very encouraged and um, inspired and they feel bold to like burn up that contract. Okay. They're probably reminiscing about the past, but yeah, that thing is over. All right. So Spirit, what is the closing out messages for my everything, please? And thank you. Somebody's obsessed with you. <laughs> Look. It came out again. All right. Somebody might be also thinking that you have options. All right. Yeah. Look, be very careful because um, this person, if like, say if you found out about something or say if somebody like called you block or say if somebody trying to stir up the pot. All right. Um, they might get a little angry about um, another man or um, them thinking that somebody playing house. <laughs> All right. You could probably be standing on boundaries and not answering their phone. You know what I'm saying? Just doing you. And they probably in their head, in their head, attached. Okay. Yeah, look, I'm telling you this, this is the rejection of four of cups. They're very bored with this immature queen of swords type of energy. All right. Yeah, because they keep thinking with this new moon and Scorpio, this the star. This where they happy at. They found success, celebrations. You know what I'm saying? Rewards, achievements. It's like you have earned, whether you know it or not, you have a title. You have a place right, right beside. Like you are the star in the eyes. All right. Also, divine feminine, your discipline, your personal development and your emotions done landed you like um 
success in your career, all right? Let me tell you, this success probably is hidden. Expect on November 1st, something big, all right? And it's elevating in your lifestyle, all right, in your position in life. This is like the, 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 the walk of fame. Like you will always be remembered, all right, for your, it's like for your intuition. You will always be remembered for your emotions and your love and, you know, um, I'm hearing no hidden intentions, all right, but something as big is happening, all right, Septem um, damn, September, something happened in September, but something huge is happening November 1st, literally, where this is a huge dream come true, where you've earned the reward, this is something to brag about, where this is to be known, and this is always going to be remembered, all right, you will always be remembered, okay, for this big thing that's happening. Also, somebody knows that you booming your career, like you're booming, you're blowing up, all right? Somebody knows that you have no time for whatever this immature person is doing, whatever she's doing or whatever she's saying, whatever she, they know that you have no time for that. You're too heavily invested in success right now. There's a lot of dreams coming true all right also miracles that's happening things that are hidden that you probably forgot about or you just manifesting they're just coming true coming true overnight yeah so your dreams are coming true overnight you might manifest something you might write something down you might petition um something you might ask for something and then boom the morning time or when sunrise you have it so you're manifesting at a fast rate to where somebody Somebody knows that you're not in a category of immaturity. Somebody knows that you're, they don't, they, you don't even have to express something. It's the way you move it. It's the, it's the gifts that you are getting from the universe. All right. That somebody already knows that whatever that this person is, is not you. Okay. Continue to move forward. I forgot this food card. This is something that you are starting mainstream. This is going big, y'all. This is going big. All right, it says headed straight to Hollywood. All right, so you could literally be a public figure, y'all. That's another reason why somebody not letting up. Because they like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So expect to celebrate on the 3rd of September. Okay, 2233 on a timestamp. Wow. All right, so let's get some advice and some closing out messages. We're going to get three cards and then we're going to close out this reading. The high priestess, I'm hearing cold cutting. All right, yeah, look, this man, I'm seeing like blood ain't thicker than water. All right, this man don't care who they think that they are or who they feel like they obligated to. This man is ready to give you their arm and a leg. All right, because they respect you. They know your attack, just like the, the high priestess is detached. All right, she knows energy. She knows how to evoke and invoke, all right? She knows how to conjure, and she's very mysterious. She's, she knows. She knows before anything. She knows what's about to unfold. She knows what's to come, all right? She's heavily invested into spirit and communicating with spirit, all right? She knows how to do spell work. She knows how to do all of this stuff, all right? But her intuition, she could turn real dark. I'm seeing like somebody do not want to get on your bad side. The king of cups to the queen of cups. He wants to stay on your good side because he knows something about you. I don't know if he's scared of your spirituality or belief, all right? But this man do not want to get on your bad side. Again, the queen of cups is lovable. She had to grow. You know what I'm saying? She does have a story just like angels, okay? So he knows that you are his person. He's not trying to fight with you, all right? He's not. He knows where his wish fulfillment is at. He also knows not to play with you. He also knows that you're not about to let nobody else play with you. For real. This is just the respect that you are giving off. So high priestess to the king cups, he's like, blood ain't thicker than water. Or friends ain't thicker than you. You hear me? Like, he's not willing to go against you for nobody. All right? Because it's something about y'all connected on a spiritual and emotional level. On a soul level. King and queen of cups. So he does not want to get on your bad side. Okay? So um, that's what I have for you guys. Yeah. Angles. All right. You know how to change up. You know how to switch. That's like a light switch. You hear me? The two of pentacles. Yeah, look. I'm telling you, he might feel left out on the cold or this is what he's trying to avoid. All right. Because 
he knows that he knows who you are. When a woman is dedicated to this, all right, and her emotional development and not going back and not letting anybody put her, you know, second, all right, this man don't want to feel left out in the cold year because he knows you're going to make the right judgment. He knows that you know, not a pinnacles. He knows that you are completely self-sufficient. He knows that you are completely independent and you are single, all right? You're probably dating, but you are the light. You are getting a lot of attention. You are in the spotlight right now, and it's all about independence. You don't need a crowd. You walk alone, all right? You reach a level of your career where your success, your advancement, this is leveling up big time, all right? You could even be a tarot reader or somebody that talks about, you know, spirit, but this person knows that you're good by yourself, all right? They also know that you know beforehand, beforehand whatever that anyone is trying to hide. All right, so um, you might have also helped this person. All right, Spirit, give me more on this Four of Pentacles. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. Taking off. Eight of Wands to the Eight of... Wait. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles to the Eight of Wands. Yeah, then I see them not even answering sexes. All right, but they're, they're coming straight to you. All right, they feel inspired. They feel happy. They feel fun. All right, the death card. I'm telling y'all, November 1st, you running through somebody's mind. All right, you are like fine wine. You wasting no time. All right, you are in control. Okay, you are in control. Look, the empress. Somebody has a huge idea, all right, on letting go of this 10 of wands energy. So much responsibility of others. Okay, so this is big. You have graduated from the queen of cups to the death card. This is no longer playing the victim, all right? This is no longer, you know who you are and you're not afraid to ruffle a little bit of feathers, all right? You're no longer in your feelings. People respect you, all right? I'm hearing, oh, they gonna have to answer to spirit, all right? It's like, it's like roll with the rush or get ran over type of energy. Also, a lot of people don't mess with you because of your belief and your spirituality and your abilities. All right, but you've graduated. You can't be all love and light, y'all. You can't be all love and light. It's not, it's not a crime to put people in a place. And every battle does not have to be fought physically. Okay, so you've graduated. This is the graduation. This is the wish come true. This is the privileged life. This is the life of importance and convenience. You already was the queen of swords. That's why this person can't, can't, can't siphon your energy. You was already her. Queen of Swords. Immature. You was already the Queen of Wands. You was already the, you already the Queen of Pentacles. So now you're the Empress because you have mastered your emotions. Not crashing out. You hear me? What's yours can never be taken. All right? So you're ruffling feathers. You don't care. All right? And still receiving what you want. Okay? So I love you guys. Congratulations on this upgrade. Okay? Upgrade. I'm telling you, this person is watching you. Heavily, heavily. All right, I love you guys.